वारिस पठान इज द रियल फियर एज मैंशन बाई कौशिक डेका दैट इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर आर एट्टी थाउजेंड पीपल टू अ लार्ज एक्सटेंट अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ देम आर पीपल ऑफ हिंदू ओरिजिन एंड द हिंदूज दे विल गेट सिटीजनशिप दे विल गेट वोटिंग राइट एंड दैट वुड इम्पैक्ट electoral fortunes in jammu and kashmir is that the fear is that the opposition to jammu and kashmir similar things in bengal also varish pathan well mr deka is contradicting himself first he says that this will not impact the muslims in the second breath he says that yes if the muslims are excluded from this they are excluded now what does he say what does he mean by that and what is the logic he is saying say the logic that's not that's not what he said, said sir but fair enough you make your point and i'll come to question you can fight the logic allow me the logic we are getting the c double a prior to the 2024 lok sabha election is only one thing to polarize the situation now allow me to make my point sir so many decent people were sitting here in the debate they were showing the decency just spin it back that okay we follow the constitution we must allow the person the person to revert now what happened to the decency why what happened to the decency why suddenly When I am decency, making my you point, are not decency. You are putting lies. One, one by one. One point. by one. One by one. As soon as Mr. Patan finishes his point, uh, Raghav, allow, Raghav, allow me, uh, allow, and 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 then uh, Koshik and uh, Dr. Paswan. One by one. मैंने आपके जलते हुए जख्म पे नमक रख दिया ऐसा हो गया. मैंने आपके झूठ का पर्दा फाश कर दिया तो नाराजगी आपको होगी. मगर please bear with me for few seconds. Few seconds. I have been given an opportunity to make you my point. You are not serious. The main one logic one, behind getting the C double A rules. At this stage is only one thing that is to polarize the election prior to the 2021 Lok Sabha because the government Modi has totally failed in implementing the guarantees which he said 15 lakh rupees were to be deposited which he failed okay. two crore youths were to be given the jobs they have failed in that people of the nation are asking them questions farmers are protesting on the street okay. they don't have answer to that SBI okay. what about that. The boss okay. will be getting uh, that very day. Dr. Paswan, you, you want to quickly, you want to quickly respond to that yeah, yeah, before I bring in the other members. Okay, from only the Dr. Paswan issues. now. Last last five minutes on the show. Dr. Paswan, complete your point, sir. Because uh, you want Gaurav, to divert the to mind of the from nation British from the basic issues. Alice Albania. I bond matter. You uh, have this issue. Okay. Uh, Gaurav, I did not speak. Gaurav, this is not the way to debate. Absolutely. Gaurav, this is not the way to debate. When he was speaking, everyone was listening. Thank you so much, Gaurav. Thank you so much, Gaurav. I would like to quote a British historian, Alice Albania, who, in her book *Empire of Indus: The Story of a River*, she says, and I quote: "Prime Minister Liaquat Ali Khan, 1948, who will clean the streets and latrines of Karachi in case the Hindus did not come back? Who will clean the streets and latrines of Karachi in case the Hindus did not come back? That is why you wanted the Dalits to stay in Pakistan." and now those dalits are back in india mr varis pathan and his political party mr varis pathan and his leader who repeatedly says jay bhim jay meen who repeatedly says jay samvidhan okay. is insulting the maker of the samvidhan mr varis pathan and his political party is insulting the legacy of who baba saheb ambedkar because okay. obviously he does not like dalits being accommodated dalits being accommodated i will again say varis pathan ji vyakul mat hoiye varav ji varav i varav did not speak when he was speaking okay varav i did not speak Gaurav, I have, I have Gaurav, the last. Gaurav, okay, Gaurav, Mr. Vasti, you wanted to complete your point. You wanted to respond. You wanted to respond Gaurav, to Varish Patan and Vasti for raising the point. This is not the case. That, that this is discriminatory. Gaurav, was on constitution. Gaurav, only, only Mr. Vasti. Only Mr. Vasti for a moment. Gaurav, go on, sir. He and his father have been the MPs for Hyderabad for so many years now. It is there has been no development in the old city. the old city is as dirty as ever so he should not talk about development hey the oac family are land grabbers no sir 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 sir, sir. no personal aspersions no, no sir no sir, sir let no let right the debate is on ca and it should remain on ca sir trying to polarize okay. bjp is not trying to polarize he's trying to polarize by spreading misinformation the act does nothing against any indian muslim even if you are a pakistani or a bangladeshi muslim or an afghan muslim you are in india you can get citizenship through the normal procedure tosif khan that's the, the point tosif khan that's the point uh, but but for the record i want to say the points that were made uh, by mr avasti about uh, mr oac india today does not back any of those because 
Mr. Ovesi is not here to respond uh, in person. Mr. Pathan, oh, you want to quickly respond to that point before I bring in Tawseef Khan. Well, I would like you to apologize Gaurav, before the entire debate. nation for Gaurav, taking the come. name of a party president who is not present in the debate. I would Such like kind that is of exactly why I would not be allowed to come Patan on the Ji. debate and make some calculated hmm. statement. They must take back their words and apologize to the entire nation Ji, or wait for our notice Ji, of defamation. Debate. Wait for that, we will show you what is law, Gaurav what is Ji. defamation. Fair enough. Because let, you are in the habit of the time. Let law and facts be put out in public domain. Then you will have to apologize to the nation. Only on this specific issue. What are you doing? Nothing. Only on this specific issue. Uh, Chappal Chatu of RSS you okay. are. Only, only, again, the law no of RSS attacks, you are. No personal attacks, please. Uh, Mr. Chattu. Pathan. No, no, I know no, how to, no, no I know how to keep this people up properly. No, I know no. how to reply to this kind of people. I am sorry. No, no personal we are attacks. Quite no personal silent. attacks. Don't think that. No personal attacks on the debate, but I want to once again bring in Kaushik Deka uh, for last 30 seconds. Kaushik Deka, if you were to look at numbers, just numbers, and I want to go by the Joint Parliamentary Committee report, again quoted in your report, quotes the Intelligence Bureau saying it's only about 31,313 individuals who stand to benefit. So this figure of 1.5 crore, is that gross exaggeration, sir? Because the number, according to the Joint Parliamentary Committee report, is just a couple of thousands, 31,000 uh, perhaps. Immediate beneficiaries. These are, these are people who are on long-term visas. These are people who are on long-term visas in India. So uh, the numbers, as I said, na, except in Assam, and even in Assam also, not that everyone is uh, uh, who are excluded in NRC are illegal citizens. Uh, apart from Assam, I don't think the numbers are very substantial. They are uh, restricted into certain pockets, uh, and we know where the pockets are, and they have been living there for ages. So the, the primary allegation that it will create a lot of pressure on our demography or there will be uh, uh, there will be some crimes uh, against us and all those okay. things. I don't think these are substantiated. And there is a cutoff mark also. Yes. But yes, the government, uh, the connect between NRC and CEA and all those things that opposition are also spreading. The government itself helped in spreading those narratives because of those statements that and there that be brings CA, fear, Dr. Paswan. The here, government which saying is not required. Chronology, and also the law should mention that it is for persecuted people.